See, the corruption in Florida is real legal. Like, state law requires each county to have a board meeting each month. But it's so expensive to live here, you got to have a full-time job, a part-time job, an only fan, and you got to sell bootleg Girl Scout cookies. Y'all want to buy some Thin Mints? Let's take a look at our corruption map to see where the real corruption begins. Brevard County is up. Brevard County's right about here. Brevard County's known for its state representative who extorted the Special Olympics because he didn't get an invite to a Chick-fil-A fundraiser. That's right, that portly little fella really wanted a taste of the Lord's chicken. Brevard County corruption doesn't stop there. Its sheriff, Wayne Ivory, pressured two candidates who were running for the Board of County Commissioner to drop out of the race, and he promised them seats on the county payroll. The allegations were dropped, so nothing really happened to Wayne Ivory, but in, in that town, he is known as the Don of Brevard. He's like the mafioso type character. Now, you think you're going to come to Florida, enjoy beautiful white beaches? Wrong. Up here in Fort Walton Beach, they have made the beach public on this side, private on this side. They've taken away the customary use up there. This law was sponsored by a lady by the name of Kathleen Pasadoma. All right, she sponsored the bill. Mike Huckabee, you might know him from his former Fox News host and the fact that he was Arkansas's governor, he really thanked Kathleen for doing this because he was tired of people walking on his beach. And we all think down here, the allegations and the way it happened, that he pressured Rick Scott into signing the bill in the law. Thanks, Huckabee. Now we're going to come on down to Pasco County. Pasco County is, oh, I'd say right about here if I'm pointing right. Pasco County, we all know the Starkeys are corrupt. That's no secret. Pasco County is known for its two nudist colonies, Paradise Lakes and Caliente. And I don't think the nudists are corrupt, but I find their behavior peculiar. You see, they like to use $2 bills to show their buying power in the community. And well, if you get a $2 bill from a nudist and you don't want it, feel free to send it to my campaign. This is real Florida. It's not a liberty-filled utopia like the folks from California, Pennsylvania, New York all make it out to be. The corruption down here is just as bad. The only difference is, is we found a way to cover it up real good. If you want to see how you can help me fight the corruption, visit my website at mattthewelder.com. I'm Matt the Welder. God bless America. FJB, and I fucking miss Joe Diffie.